Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my spring lookbook. I'm always psyched to do a good lookbook and today's is no exception. I've been shopping at my usual haunts, Nordstrom, Target, Amazon, Red Dress, and Loft. And I found a couple items at each store and I've put them together into individual outfits to give suggestions or help you shop for or show you what I'm going to be wearing this spring. Of course, you'd never know the spring was coming based on the weather outside today. It's like 22 degrees with about 21 inches of snow out there. So I hope spring comes a little bit earlier where you are and that you can already start wearing your spring clothes. But anyway, if not, this will give us a little peek into the future, see what kind of things we might want to be wearing. Of course, I have everything in here from casual jeans looks to workout, hit the gym, post gym shopping shopping, and then a whole mess of dresses. I kind of got caught up in this dress vortex this year. I was looking for a snake dress in particular. I'll give you sizing advice, um, and also my sizing information will be in the information box below the video, along with links to every item. So let's start looking at outfits, shall we? This first outfit contains this sweater, but it's covered up right now by this really great jacket. I was looking for a baseball jacket, like a bomber style jacket for spring this year. You know, this year the style is for higher waist jeans and for shorter crop tops. This jacket isn't super cropped, it's just a normal length baseball jacket, and this comes in this beautiful blue color. It is so well made. It's fully lined and check out the inside. It's fully reversible. Just take out this tag and then it is completely reversible and what a fun print for spring. So florals are really in this year and pastels are back again and this is just such a beautiful floral pastel jacket. And then the sweater is this one. This is also from Target. This is such a cute sweater for spring. I love the knit on it. It's got this nice texture. It's got a nice v-neck in the front. It's got a nice v-neck in the back as well. And it's the perfect weight sweater for springtime because, you know, you won't get too hot, you won't get too cold, and it feels like it's made out of cotton, so it's not itching me at all. You guys know I have the, like, itchy neck syndrome. So the jeans I have on with this outfit are from Loft, and one of the big trends this year is also these little racing stripes or the tuxedo stripes down the sides of the pants. These are a really good-looking pair of jeans. These are a 25 or a zero and they're a little bit roomy on me. I like the fit on these. They're more of like a boyfriend fit, but if you do want them tight, I would size down a little bit. The handbag I'm carrying is also from Target. Isn't this the cutest? Oh my gosh. It's almost like, have you seen those ARC bags that all the bloggers have? You know, they're made out of like rattan or something, but this is kind of a spin on that. It's a baby blue faux leather handbag on the outside, and then on the inside, it has this really crazy colored pouch. I like that you can see See the colors of the fabric through the cutout pattern in the handbag. It also does come with a full length shoulder strap. The shoe I have on with that outfit is great for transitioning during the springtime, although if you have snow on the ground, you can't wear these, have to swap in something else, but it is this taupe suede peep toe stacked heel booty. I love these guys. I had a pair almost exactly like these from Nordstrom that I got at the sale last summer, and they're gone now, but I found the, almost the exact same shoe at Target this year. One of the cool things about the Target shoes is they come in regular width and they also come in wide, and so the shoes I ordered this year, I ordered in wide because I've been having some problem with my toes fitting in the toe box of shoes Lately. So if you're looking at these and thinking, wow, they're really kind of bulky looking shoes, it's because these are the wides. So the regular is much narrower than this. So I might exchange these for the regular one because they were a little bit too wide for me. But what a great looking booty. They have this little perforated part back here and a faux zipper on this side and then the working zipper on this side. Nice stacked heel, very comfortable to wear. All right, the next outfit is another jeans outfit. With this one, I have on a really cute olive green military style jacket, but again, going with the trend this year, it's a little bit cropped. It's not super short and it has the drawstring at the bottom. I just wore it loose. I didn't gather in the drawstring. I just like it loose with the strings hanging, but this is such a nice jacket. The fabric is really nice and soft. It's kind of like a textured linen-y kind of fabric. You can roll up the cuffs on the sleeves if it gets warm and wear it zipped or unzipped. So I have that on with just a really basic black t-shirt that I picked up at Red Dress. Just got a scoop neck, some big oversized armholes, and it is just a boxy tank. And the jeans I have on with this outfit are a pair of Levi's. I haven't owned a pair of Levi's since high school. <laughs> 
So it has been a long time, but I was looking for some super high rise jeans and I saw these on Amazon. I thought they looked pretty nice. So the jeans are a little snug on me. I gotta say, I got them in a size zero, 25 waist and um, they are a little bit tight. I would probably go up a size. So where these and the loft jeans are actually the same size, they're both a 0.25. These ones were a little tight. Those ones were a little loose. I actually found that these were pretty comfortable. I thought that they looked pretty good. They have a little distressing in the leg, which I like, and they were cropped as well. And the sneakers that I have on to complete the look are these little guys. I love these hidden wedge sneakers. They work so well for my feet. They give me the little bit of elevation that I need because um, I can't really wear anything super flat, so they're perfect for me. I love it that they have the two silver zippers on both sides, suede upper, and it's got the white gummy thick sole, and that is really on trend right now. Next up is the same outfit, just swapping out the jacket for those of you who aren't interested or don't like a crop jacket. Here is the jacket that I pretty much wear every spring. This isn't the same one. This is a new one that I got this year in a nice dark gray color. These kind of field jackets are available in um, you know, olive green or camo colors. I really like the cut of this. I really like the quality of the fabric on this. Love the color and everything. So that is a great little jacket. Then the next outfit I think is really our uniform. Don't you guys just walk around in workout clothes all day? I know I do. This time of year in New England, <laughs> I think in a lot of places you need a raincoat. I love a North Face jacket because they have the completely sealed seams. The fabric is always water resistant. So I decided to veer away from my usual bleak black for this time of year and get this really pretty light gray color. And this is such a soft, lightweight fabric. I love it. Underneath the jacket, I have on this top. This is like the perfect post-workout top. It's just a big, oversized, super soft, um, jersey top with a scoop neck, long sleeves, and then what's great about it is it has this little turn under here at the waist and then the back is long. So it covers your junk if you want your junk covered, but then it also has a nice little keyhole in the back. So if that you have a cute strappy sports bra, you'll be able to see your straps there. So that is a really nice top. But if you're someone who's really working hard on their back view these days, which you know everyone is, and you want a shorter top, I'm also gonna show you this outfit with this little top. It also has a little crossover in the front. This is super soft, super nice fabric, and it's not really much longer at the back so if you are working hard on you know your back view there then you can show it off with a top like that and then of course I'm wearing my favorite leggings these guys have a little bit of a mesh insert on the calf I don't know if these are still available so I'll see what they have to replace these and the sneaks I'm wearing with that outfit are these guys from Sorrel or Sorel I love the sole on these I love how chunky it is I love how rugged it is so these you can wear even if there's still a little bit of ice on the ground or a little bit of slush or it's raining and you will be secure when you're walking around and they were so comfortable to wear. I really like the color on these. I love this kind of uh, peachy nude but with a little bit of a metallic sheen on the strapping here so those are great looking sneakers. Next up is a really bright colorful springy outfit. Um, you know there's always a top in every one of my lookbooks that you guys just go crazy for. I have a feeling it's going to be this one because it's so wearable and it's going to look good on every figure and it's so easy to get in and out of and you don't have to worry about whether to tuck it or not tuck it because it has the crisscross in the front and the turned under hem here and then it's also a little bit longer in the back. This is a 100% cotton shirt. It is so soft. The fabric is so nice. I love this top and it comes in so many colors. So if you're not into the royal blue then you might be interested in one of the other colors. Because it is this royal blue I didn't want to put it on with blue jeans so I put it on with my favorite pair of white jeans. These aren't new. Um, I didn't want to buy a new pair this year because I love these. These are my page jeans. So love those. I'll link something similar if those are unavailable. But if you already have white jeans, just wear your white jeans. I have that on with this nice little pair of espadrilles. I think I bought these last summer. These are from Nordstrom. They still have them. I love these. These are like my favorite sandals of the summer and they're just so cute. These come in a few different colors as well, but they have the nice jute espadrille with the wedge ankle strap, the white handbag with the green handles. Oh, 
love this. It's got these really cool green lucite handles, white faux leather, love that. And then I kept on the same white jeans, swapped out the top, threw on a jacket, changed my shoes, and it was a nighttime go out outfit. So um, the jacket that I have on is this little faux leather jacket. Unfortunately, this is mainly sold out. I think I got the last one in extra small, but there is another jacket at Nordstrom at about the same price point. It has a little bit more detail with the collar, but I actually think I kind of like that one better. This one's very plain and very simple, um, but it is a shrunken fit, so it's not meant for the front to close. There is no closure on the front. That kind of jacket can go with dresses, it can go with jeans, it can go with pants, you know, you can wear it with just about everything. You'll see it in a few of the outfits here today. Then the top that I switched it up to is this top from Loft. Um, this is just a really pretty pattern. I like the fabric on this, and it's just a really breezy, nice sleeveless top. So I swapped out the shoes and went with these black open toe um, sling back stacked heel sandals and these have a little bit of perforation here in the leather. These are faux leather, I believe. This is all man-made materials. So these are from Nordstrom. These are really cute. I did find an almost exact dupe for these at Target as well, for those of you who prefer the Target price point. These are wides as well. Very similar shoes. Target is doing a great job of what would you call it? Knocking off the higher price shoes. In the next outfit, I'm wearing the black faux leather jacket again. I think it goes perfectly with this outfit. So this outfit is kind of a take on the new pajama dressing trend that's going on. So underneath the leather jacket, I have on this cute little lacy camisole. It's a racer bag, but it's something that just comes in handy for all kinds of outfits. I have it on with these really adorable pajama pants that are pretty much knocking back all the trends. If you want to just get one outfit that will cover you for the trends this year, this is the outfit because it's got the pajama dressing, it's got the tuxedo stripe on the pants, it's got the army green color with the overlay of lace. So just in this one pair of pants, you've got it all going on. So these are so comfy, so great, and they have pockets. So if you're going to a function, you need something a little bit dressy to wear, but you don't want to wear a dress or a skirt, this is the perfect outfit. I've got this belt on with the outfit. So I was feeling like I needed kind of a fancier belt. This is the only belt I have. So anyway, maybe a fancier belt, maybe one of those Gucci double G belts. And then the shoes I have on also from Target. These are from A New Day and they're just the basic black strappy sandals. I mean, you can get these anywhere. You probably already have a pair in your closet, but if you don't, you need just a basic shoe like this to go with outfits like this, just to dress things up. All right, you guys. It's time to segue into the dresses. This is the dress that I am absolutely kind of obsessed with. Of course, this is all it has to cover your <laughs> front part. Just two little pieces of fabric, so it's a little too revealing for me. So I did have this little tube top. I actually got the tube top to go with the green kind of lacy tuxedo pants, but I didn't like how it looked with that, but it turned out that it was perfect to go on under this. But this is just the little tube top and it just has a little texture to it. I don't know if you guys are into snake or not, but this one is just like, oh my gosh, there's something about. It's just this fabric, this pattern. I just think it's so pretty. I love the black edging on here. Love the pleats, love the um, slits for the legs to peek out. Just a beautiful, beautiful garment. The shoe that I'm wearing with that one is this guy a delicate heel with a kind of open toe peep toe booty and a little bit of the heel in the back and they have this kind of collar feature that comes around they're asymmetrical they dip down right here loving these booties and they're also so comfortable so highly recommend these booties they're great definitely a keeper and then the other snake dress i'm not so sure about it. it's a very simple wrap dress i mean i think it looks nice and everything and if you're looking for like a snake dress and you like a wrap dress then this could be the one for you. So I thought I'd throw it in anyway. We're just going to look at it briefly. The sleeve is a double sleeve with a little bit of a ruffle. The fabric is very soft, very nice. I have that on with these nude sandals. They're very similar to the black ones that I showed already. The heel's a little bit higher and I'm carrying my Rebecca Minkoff small 
love bag. This is a crossbody. It's got the chain and then the leather strap. This is a perennial favorite. I've had it for years. All right, I've got a couple of more dresses to show you. As I said, I went a little dress crazy. I don't know why. I was just really into dresses this time. So the first one is this kind of all occasion dress. I hadn't really been looking for a dress like this, but I decided to try it on and I just loved it. It's such a simple dress and it's so inexpensive. Yeah, the price point on this was really great. It's only $55. I mean, this is the perfect thing that can transition you from work into a cocktail afterwards or something like that. Date night, super cute. Put a jacket on over it or maybe a little leather jacket. Just a really versatile dress. The color is the most beautiful turquoise. I think it's reading more like a royal blue on there, but it is a turquoise. And I think this probably comes in a few different colors. So this next dress is something that I normally wouldn't gravitate towards, but I love the asymmetrical buttons down the side of the dress. And so I ordered it and my gosh, I was so happy with it when I got it in. I was like, wow, this is really kind of a killer dress. It really looks good. It's very figure flattering. It's got um, kind of the curves built in for you where I tend to be very straight. It actually makes me look a little curvy. It's a very ladylike length. I love the V in the front and the V in the back and the sleeveless. So anyway, this is just such a pretty dress. and the fabric on this is just feels so quality and so luxe. It's really soft. It's not silky, but it just has a great feeling to it. So just to show you the buttons up close, it's got all those cute little buttons down the front and it's just a simple, very simple navy blue dress, but it makes such a statement. And then the last dress for the lookbook, I always try to leave you with the showstopper. Um, this is such a beautiful dress. I actually couldn't decide which color I liked it better in, so I got two. One will be going back, so I'll be taking your votes. Let me know which one you like better. So the one that's more springy is definitely the blush pink. It's got this really nice plunging V in the front, sleeveless, and it's a beautiful fit and flare. And one of the best things about it is that it has pockets. Oh, I just love a pocket. It's such a ladylike dress, but yet it's still a little bit sexy, a little bit flirty. So it's a great looking dress. And here's the dress in the other color. This one's a little bit less springy, but um, it's probably more for like now spring, early spring, but I love this color too. This is the burgundy. The dress came in a bunch of different colors. I think it came in black, white, two shades of burgundy, blue, turquoise. The handbag I have with that is from Target. It's kind of a knockoff of the Rebecca Minkoff, which is kind of a knockoff of the Chanel. So anyway, everyone's knocking everyone else off apparently. It's got the same like diagonal stitching here, little chain detail, and then the faux leather strap. All right, so that's it for the lookbook for today, everybody. Don't forget to check the info box for sizing information for direct links to all the products shown. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thanks as always for your time today. Thank you for shopping with my links if you use my links. And so I hope you have a great day. Happy shopping and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.